If you make long form video and want an easy way to make short form content using AI, this one's for you. Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. Last week, we talked about my first attempt at using LiveLink.ai. If you missed that one, go to frankbuck.org slash LiveLink. Run it all together as one word. Again, that's frankbuck.org slash LiveLink. After making my usual video and uploading it to YouTube, I put the YouTube URL into LiveLink, and what you're about to see is what LiveLink selected, turned into vertical video, and allowed me to download with just a click. I make my YouTube video just as I have always been doing, just as you're watching right now. I post it to YouTube just as I've always done. Then I go to my LiveLink.com. AI account and provide the YouTube link. LiveLink.ai creates snippets for me that I can then use other places. Now, this is my first try, so I'm learning along the way. Using AI, LiveLink is going to extract the best parts of the video. It will recognize where my face is so that I'm always in focus and it's never chopped off and it will compose those snippets in the correct orientation for social media platforms. From my desktop computer, I was able to open Instagram, click to create a new reel, and drag the clip in. You see, Instagram Reels puts the content in front of people who are not already a part of your audience, so you're reaching more people. And once you have that content in Instagram Reels, you can cl just click the little share symbol and shared as an Instagram story. So with just a couple of clicks, it's also now in front of the people who are following you. I did find I got more engagement from that clip than anything else I had ever put on Instagram Reels. Now, maybe it's just the nature of the video and the hashtags being used. After all, it's a clip about creating short form content and it's on a platform that's all about short form content. Here's another example. I recently posted about my Evernote tagging system. I put the YouTube link into LiveLink, and what you're about to see are two clips that it created. The decision over whether to organize with notebooks versus tags has been a long-standing debate in the Evernote community. I use both. If you looked at my Evernote sidebar, you would see the notebook list. At the top is the inbox. A dot as the first character sorts the inbox to the top of the list. It's a place to trap notes until I make a decision about what to do with them, what to do about them, and where to put them. Scrolling down reveals a list of reference notebooks. The very last is a stack for completed projects, which now become reference information. One thing to remember if you collaborate with other people is that you can share a notebook. When you do, every note in that notebook can be accessed and, if you desire, edited by those that you choose to share that notebook with. I will tell you this, you'll get more bang for the buck the longer your original video is. Live link will select more clips for you and you'll stand a better chance of getting clips that you like and you get a variety of clips to choose from. So why not give it a try? Go to bit.ly slash Frank Buck Live Link. That's all in lowercase. Run it all together as one word. bit.ly slash Frank Buck Live Link. I also have a button in the blog post and a link in the show notes. Now you can put a link to a YouTube video in the field and let Live Link work its magic. You can just do it as soon as you go to the site before ever creating an account. The video doesn't even have to be yours. I tried it on another channel and was able to make short form video from another site. Just be careful with copyright violations. If you like what you see and you want to sign up, just be sure that you use the link that I gave you to navigate back there. 
Thanks for stopping by. And if you're not already an email subscriber, let's take care of that right now. Go over to frankbuck.org. Two free gifts will be coming your way. Thanks for stopping by. This has been Frank Buck, helping you get organized and make it look easy.